So timbre-wise, it's quite different. So this is a dynamic mic versus a condenser. Yeah, there we go. Now. So it's not as bright. Um, so that other one was much more piney and more prone to feedback. So now we've got that note. So I brought the electric guitar, which, which has a little bit more pitch. So now instead of playing like perfectly mosaic and something, <laughs> now it's like doing the this version of it. So it's going to be, and I've loaded both the accordion and the electric guitar. So now as you play, it should be like little things like this of, of your playing, not necessarily so perfectly matching. <laughs> Striking me about this is that because we have a goal 
as opposed to the Oliveros, where we didn't have a goal. We had a process that we needed to follow, but we didn't have a result that we could imagine at the end, right? Like you were saying at the beginning, um, you start having, you start trying to devise ways, and then it starts to become a bit more about the way you're experiencing the relationships that are sounding. So, I'm wondering if, if having the goal, I, I, how, I'm wondering if, if, if people here feel as though they're able to experience how they're listening to these phenomena, or if we're just too fixated on having the same pitch. Because <laughs> obviously we're listening in a certain way, right? But so the question is, is it better for the piece to be shorter? Mm -hmm. Right, we've done it better if the piece is shorter. <laughs> in one way, yeah, mm -hmm. I suppose. As an, as if an we all training, spontaneously like, pick the same note, and right. then we would just be done. That would, would be that incredible. Would that be a, a perfect rendition yeah. <laughs> of the piece? I, I've thought of something, okay. <laughs> but I, I don't know if it's too long. It kind of mm. puts your idea with the piece you showed us that there's one person paying, like, probably not one person to start, but two people paying, finding like the same, and then, and then you start again, and Three. pick your own pitch, and then try and get a pitch, and then, so it Four. keeps happening, <laughs> so we all know that it's going to end going with the Oh, let's do it. <laughs> let's try it. So wait, so it starts with two people playing together, and we have to reach the same pitch. Yes. And then we start again. With so three. we have a pitch of third person joins with a different note, and then you... Um, I was thinking just the same format yeah. as the original um, piece you... Tom Johnson. Yeah. yeah. So how, how does a third, so, so how does a third person know when to join? Then once you've found a um, pitch, then you stop, and then when the third person comes, there's like a pause, and then, and the then you person. hear an internal sound. So you, three of you play, hmm. then three of you try and try and match. Yeah, and then and then pause, <laughs> and then nice. there's four of you, and then the new person could lead the entrance. Yes. Mm -hmm. can, I, can I just ask a question? Yes. <coughs> and in fact, this is based on our experience here that. If, if there's two of you, you could be of a personality where you're both going to change every time. And oh, therefore yeah. the, the getting together is chance and you've just got to know when you hit it. So that's really what we're doing, isn't it? Because mm -hmm. in each case, I mean, somebody might say, like, okay, if I do it, I'll just say, right, I'll just stay here until he gets, he gets my the same picture as me. But I could be saying, as I was doing with you, I was watching you, and I said, no, he's going to move up there. So, so knowing whether to stay or whether to move. Well, I think that that's the situation <coughs> that we always must undertake any time we sound musical pitch, right? It's like either yeah. I'm going to stay and be the reference, or I'm going yeah. to adjust to a reference, or I'm going to create an environment where some indeterminacy is mm. going to occur, mm. um, or some combination of those things. And then it's how many people are involved. So based on the based on that speculation, it should take longer and longer to mm -hmm. find the pitch, depending on how many people are there. But I have a suspicion that won't work that way. But let's. I think we should try. It. I think it's a great idea. How, how do we decide the order? So we need to number. <laughs> so why don't we say you're one? Lauren, you could be two. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Sure. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we start together, right? I'll pick a different note this time. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> like nibbling away. <laughs> it's like a rude place with a little squeeze button. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 